Hey guys, this tutorial is another remake of an old tutorial I did. Um, you might remember a while ago I did a tutorial on both the press up and the uh, frog. I remade my the frog part of that tutorial because the audio was so bad in that tutorial, but I never got around to remaking the press up part of that tutorial. So that's what I'm going to do today. So this is this is a level two maneuver, uh, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like to start with. This is what a press up looks like. Okay, so to do the press up, uh, there are a few kind of practice drills we can do before we start it. So you want to make sure that you have a reasonable amount of core strength, a bit of arm strength, and you're just generally quite fit because uh, if you're unfit, too heavy, etc., you might find this a little bit more difficult than other people. So a good exercise to start with are obviously burpees. Uh, most of you will probably know what burpees are, but if you don't, a burpee is where you squat down, go into a push-up, you do a squat thrust, bring your legs in, then bring your arms up. This is good because it uses the same sort of muscle groups you use when you're doing a push-up, in that you do the squat thrust. And just doing squat thrusts on their own, again, gets you used to that leg movement. So you can practice a few of those. I also suggest you practice doing some uh, other cool, similar work, sort of plyometric push-up work, like uh, push-up jumps, and maybe just a uh, little uh, lift up. The ground is really hot, um, I'm just saying. That's why I'm not keeping my hands on it for too long, because the sun is really hot today. Um, you can do like clap push-ups as well. All sorts of things just to try and increase your core strength and the ability for you to move without your rope, with the rope. Next thing we're gonna do, to actually get the uh, motion with the rope, we need to be able to do it without the rope. So here's what the motion looks like without the rope. Down, up. Okay, so it's a squat thrust, except your arms have to bring behind your legs. This is quite difficult to learn. Once you've learned it, uh, it's quite easy, but it's difficult to learn. So, you need to really have a decent amount of strength for this, as I say, be able to do good squat thrusts. Essentially, what you want to do is you want to bring your hands up at the last moment while your legs are in the air. If you bring them, if you do this, which a lot of people do when they're practicing it, you won't get the rope under you. So you really need to force those arms back, even if it means you have to really tuck. So, legs near and arms go back. Once you can do that, you can do the push up. So we get our rope, which is equally very hot. I don't know why I'm doing this out here, because it's so hot. We're ready to do the push up. So to get into the push up, we get into it, I uh, usually just by doing a squat down. So you don't have to do like a proper technical squat. You just need to bend down a little bit. Arms down, legs out, kick them out. And then you've got to try and bring the rope out, out quick, behind, up behind you quickly. If you want, you can sink a bit to get ready for the jump. Just get ready and, and you'll get it. If you can do the last exercise, you'll get it on like your first, second or third try. What else can you do? You, other than doing some more strength exercises, you can also try the related trick, the frog, which is the hands and one. Um, the hands, the frog and the push-up sort of feed into each other as usual tricks. So once you can do one, you won't, it won't be long before you can do the other one. How much time do I have? Uh, yeah, so that concludes my tutorial on how to do the push-up. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.